going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. So today we have the DHK Hobbies Maximus. It's my boy Brian's and he's been sick for a little bit and he's like, you know what? If you can, just go ahead and you know, maybe you can work on it. So I was like, all right, man, we'll go ahead and do that. He's got a little kid that's just into preschool and bringing home the germs. So he's been sick a lot. I told him he was going to be. Been there, done that. Glad it's over with. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this truck. Oops. So what we got going on here is go ahead first lots of loose components as far as in the steering linkage so all that on both sides of it just all loose so I'm gonna go ahead and, and tighten that stuff up I'm gonna use probably a little bit of nail polish I think it's gonna be a little bit stronger than just the Loctite I might hold it uh, because again some of these uh, manufacturers they don't give enough threads for these uh, nylon screws to actually grab onto so as you can see here even though it's backed out it's really like the, the nylon's not really grabbing on there so anyway and let me go ahead and show you guys what i'm doing with the front i'm going to just do a time lapse on that part of it but i do have it here is the part number i'm going to be using uh this is the front differential it's front and rear same thing maybe these steering arms i'm going to take a look at them as well because the fact that he's got one that's it's loose here, but honestly, I think it's a screw. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at that as well. But, um, and I'm gonna show you this clicking noise. So let me show you that real quick. All right, so here's the noise that it's making. I'm sure you can hear that. So that's what's going on. That is the front differential. We did replace the center differential. You can see there's a little, I don't know if you can really pick it up or not. It definitely is wobbling this, uh, C cup that's here, what have you. Place it. They're pretty inexpensive parts, anyhow. So I'm gonna go ahead. Like I said, time lapse tearing this all apart because I've never torn this apart, anyhow. But it's gonna make it quicker, and then get into uh, you know actually get this thing fixed, and then going over fixing our steering linkage. Looks like a big mess, but actually not too bad as far as tearing it all apart. So yeah, you can definitely hear it there. All right, also you will need to go ahead and transfer these components off of the old differential, the front differential or reader. Take those off put and transfer them over to your new differential. All right, so now that I got it all reassembled as far as that front differential, not really that hard to do. Anyway, everything is good as far as that part goes now. It sounds like the the, the gear mesh is a little bit tight, so I might uh, re readjust on that part of it. All right, now I wanna go ahead and work on this part that's just kind of loose. I'm gonna go ahead and just check, take a look at it, see if I can just tighten it up, or if he used some kind of just, um, I don't know, super glue on it or something like that. So I'm gonna take a look at that right here real quick and then work on the steering linkage. And then also in the back, he's got a <laughs> missing a screw, so take care of that one for him as well. All right, so I think I fixed his issue anyhow without having to replace this part. He ordered two of them uh, because it was wobbling. I did fix the back bumper, put a screw through there. Actually put a little bit of nail polish because the, the threads on it were a little bit, you know, almost kind of get stripped. So I did that on that. And then I fixed the steering on this thing. Uh, it was really bad as far as when it came to how stiff this the steering was on it. So I'll kind of show you that real quick here as well. So now it moves pretty well. The only thing I'm gonna keep an eye on here as things dry over 24, 48 hours is to make sure that these screws, I can't undo them just with my hand. I wanna make sure that they're on there firm, I wanna move anymore. So that's that. But uh, all in all, all is well. Hopefully, it, you know, I'm just trying to help him so the screws don't keep backing out. That is annoying. And it seems to be kind of a common issue. I've heard other people say about the Maximus that some of the screws do back out so that yeah they just def definitely went to uh you know some of the screws are shorter i don't know one has spacers the other one on the bottom doesn't have a spacer so it is a little bit wobbly and i think it's on the left hand side here as well yeah right in here you can see it moving it doesn't have that little spacer that's in there anyway, i'm gonna wrap this thing up appreciate you guys watching as always don't forget to like comment subscribe share this with your friends if you enjoyed it and i'll catch you on the next video you guys take care thank you for watching